Welcome back to the Data Janitor. I'm Mike West. Before we dive headlong into data engineering, we need to define the roles used within the space. Now, there's a ton of ambiguity about what these roles do in the real world. There are many companies that get the roles wrong. In the real world, there are four core data roles. They are the database administrator, the data analyst, the data engineer, and the SQL developer. The data analyst, the DBA, and the SQL developer have been around for a long time. The data engineer is relatively new to the scene. Database administrators typically administrate one vendor's transactional database. For example, I was a SQL Server DBA for 80% of my career. SQL Server is Microsoft's relational database. Now, there are Oracle DBAs, MySQL DBAs, Postgres DBAs. All right, you get the idea. Okay, so what's a DBA do? They have a lot of responsibilities, too many in my opinion. They make sure that data analysts and others can easily use databases to find information they need. They also ensure that the systems perform as they should by monitoring database operations and providing support. They're responsible for user account creation, security, performance, installation, patching, data migrations. Whew. They're often asked to do tasks that are outside the core DBA responsibilities. For example, authoring packages that move data around. Now, that might seem like it's easy, but these tools are very complex, and moving data around in the wild is a lot different than importing a CSV file when you're just learning. The next role is the data analyst. This role is often confused with many other and used in the place of just about every role out there. The first really important point about this role is that it's an entry-level role. Data engineers, DBAs, and SQL developers are far more technical than data analysts. I'm not saying that to demean the data analyst. I'm helping you understand what the roles look like in the real world. And they have for decades now. Okay, let's define the data analyst role now. Data analysts enable businesses to maximize the value of their data assets by using SQL and often a third-party tool like Power BI, Tableau, or Looker. As subject matter experts, data analysts are responsible for designing and building scalable data models, cleaning the data, transforming that data, and enabling analytic capabilities that provide meaningful business value through easy to comprehend data visualizations. Really important insight there, data analysts use SQL and often a third-party tool for the presentation of the data. They don't use Python. They don't author front-end or back-end interfaces. They aren't developers. All right, the next role is the data engineer. This is a relatively new role compared to the others. Data engineers work with structured as well as unstructured data. Now, we're going to cover that in an upcoming lesson, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Data engineers will have heavy SQL skills. Many data engineers come from DBA roles. Data engineers design and build systems for collecting, storing, and analyzing data at scale. They build data pipelines. These are entities for moving all kinds of disparate data from one location to another. Almost all the data engineers I know or work with work in the cloud. Most will work with one or more data warehouses. I work with Snowflake and BigQuery. The last core data role is that of the SQL developer. SQL developers spend their entire day authoring SQL code. They author complex stored procedures. They will have an in-depth understanding of each business use case. Most will work with a single vendor. For example, there are developers that only work with Oracle-related SQL, and there are developers that only work with SQL Server-related SQL. SQL developers will need to work closely with the business to ensure they're returning the data that's relevant. If you enjoy writing SQL all day, this might be for you. If not, I'd stay away. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to sub and like, and we'll see you soon.